to go from Panama City to Portobello, Portobello, I don't know how to pronounce it. Originally, we wanted to take a sailboard from Portobello to Cartagena, we wanted to go to Colombia, but a few days ago, it got canceled. So what we're going to do now, because we already booked an Airbnb, which we cannot cancel without losing all money we spent there, we are going to go there anyway. <laughs> spend the nights there that we already paid and then go back to Panama City to experience Casco Viejo and maybe go up a Trump Tower to have an amazing view for free and all this kind of stuff and we really don't know what to do in Portobello because we really just wanted to board a ship so will be two days where you will explore Portobello as we do <laughs> no planning ahead <laughs> the journey there will take about three or four hours with a bus and should be around 10 bucks in total for both of us. But let's first head to Portobello without knowing what to expect. <laughs> let's go. Bye bye. That was difficult. <laughs> So far everything went well. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The hangry meter is beginning to fill up very quickly. Ta -da! And it looks like that our dream is coming true to ride with a chicken bus. Maybe. And be gone with our luggage. Ah no. No, it's fine. I'm very excited. First time. I think there's no AC. <laughs> For one hour. An experience. I like it. <laughs> Let's see for how long. <laughs> I thought you'd be in Madeline. She's also called Madeline. Okay, where are we? I got some refreshments and I thought I get Madeline something fitting. Squirt. Enjoying Cheers. some squirt. That's good. Okay, let's find a trash can. Or just do it like the locals. No, do. we know. We don't. I've heard you should accustom. Now we know what we have for dinner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you open tonight? Yeah. yeah. So what's great is that our Airbnb also has a restaurant and we are now getting pizza.
It's the beer for the champions, right? Adrian! Adrian! I wanted to break down the cost because we finally made it to budget traveling. <laughs> After four months. I know a lot of people make it from giving up their apartment and everything to very low budget travel in a blink of an eye and they're super good at it, but we needed to have a, we had a learning curve. Man, we had a learning curve. We finally, finally made it. Enjoy, amigo, amigo. Ooh. Enjoy. Holy pizza. <laughs> it's so hot. Comment ça va? Très bien. Very decent pizza. Très bien. Mm-hmm. Muy bien. Let's go. Okay, see you later. See you later. <laughs> so guys, welcome to Porto Bello. Name is not what you get. Unfortunately, they really have a garbage problem here. So the problem here is... Um, Costa Rica does it so well. They educate their kids in school how important Mother Nature is. Here they don't. We saw a little kid throwing trash out of the bus while bus was driving. Totally normal here. Funny thing, we talked to the little 12-year-old girl yesterday. She's very bright and she's the sunshine. And she told us that people always say they want to go to the US because the streets are clean there. That doesn't make sense. That's what she said. Doesn't make sense because you can just clean up your own streets and then it would be perfectly clean. So our idea, let's see if we ever get to actually make it reality, is to give people money for a kilo of plastic and then they bring it to these facilities next to their town or somewhere and then streets will finally be clean. So I think, especially as a European, we are always very dramatic about trash because we take it like fucking seriously. The houses here are so beautiful with the painting and so Caribbean style and it's so warm here. You have the beautiful bay, but I can't find nothing beautiful about this town. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna enjoy our day or try, try to do it. I'm afraid that we will not come back. <laughs> so here, it's beautiful uh, to see in the mangrove. A few moments later. We made it into the mangroves and we are getting pushed by the wind and by the stream. You want to go up the river? It's so nice. So guys, welcome to our little canoe adventure here in Portobello. Since we left the treasures town, I don't know if that's a word. Now it's nice. We are here in the mangroves. There's a little river feeding the bay of Portobello. And the nice thing is there's nobody here. So if there's a crocodile eating us, nobody will know. Isn't that romantic? You look so beautiful. Turn around and smile. <laughs> so beautiful here. The trauma of the little town already passed. So we are now in the, I would call it mangroves in Portobello. And the river is way more bello than Portobello itself, without a doubt. Less plastic, less people, more nature. Will we get a sunburn? We don't know yet. We will find out. While landing here on this beautiful island where somebody's playing constant music, we managed to drop our microphone into the water. And we are 90% sure that it's broken now, so we have to get a new one. Damn. Exactly. Dominican Republic was already bad. But it was kind of here, kind of there, it was okay. As far as this can be okay. But this country, Panama, is freaking us out. This is everywhere you go. Not just on this beach. It's on every beach. And it's on every corner. It's in every front yard. It's in every backyard. It's in every river. 
Shame on every tourist who leaves a place like this and the locals. It's just unbelievable. I've seen the little girl just throwing it out of the bus into the sea, doesn't matter. In Germany we have a saying, how beautiful is Panama, because there's a child book, how beautiful is Panama. It should be rewritten. Yes, it should be, how, how dirty is Panama, should be the new title. So the little tiger is going off to Panama and discovering all the trash. And the example of the little girl throwing her trash out of the bus just shows us that it really starts early here. Obviously there's no education in terms of environment and they're coming here every day with their boats and enjoying the beach and it's just it's just a fucking shame. It just makes me angry and aggravated. It's just a total opposite to Costa Rica. I think if you come from Costa Rica and then you come here, I don't know what to say. It's a hard discussion. And right in the middle of the Panama mangroves, trash again. I mean, they're like literally trash bags. Great success. Here. A fucking TV. I'm sorry, but what the heck? In the middle of the jungle. Why do people literally drive here or float here? A backpack. You need a new backpack. Nice. Dump it here. Unfassbar enttäuscht. Unfassbar enttäuscht. Oh, hallo. Okay, we fucked up majorly today. That Android phone, the 300 euro microphone is probably dead too. Most expensive kayak tour of all time. I tried to take it lightly, but Sasha is in a... I've had my beer, I'm fine. So cheers to that. So we're leaving now this town of Portobello, where we just came to get the sailboat, which was cancelled, obviously. And yeah, now we are heading back to Panama City to buy some stuff because we broke it and we have a little bit of sunburn. And a gringa rocha now. 